Your brain is under attack by myths disguised as facts. That 10% brain myth? A 130-year-old lie. Brain training apps? A $2 million scam. The stress you glorify? Physically shrinking your brain. Neuroscientists from Harvard, MIT, Stanford spent decades studying this. What they found contradicts everything you've been told. Let's dismantle the five biggest lies about your intelligence and reveal the truth that changes everything. Myth 1. You only use 10% of your brain. You've heard it everywhere. Movies. Teachers. Gurus. Humans only use 10% of their brain. Imagine if we unlocked the other 90%. Completely false. PET scans prove your brain uses nearly 100% of its capacity. Making coffee? Visual cortex fires. Motor cortex fires. Memory centers fire. Planning regions fire. All at once. Saying you only use 10% of your brain is like saying traffic lights only use 33%. Because only one color shines at a time. Nonsense. Neurologist Barry Beierstein. If 90% was inactive, brain damage wouldn't matter. But any damage causes problems. Every part works. The real origin? 1,890 seconds. Psychologist William James wrote, We only use a fraction of our mental potential, not our physical brain. It got twisted for 130 years. Your brain isn't wasting 90% waiting to unlock. You're already at full power. Stop searching for phantom potential. You don't need more brain. You need to use the one you have. Myth 2. Brain training apps make you smarter. Train your brain 10 minutes a day. A billion dollar promise. Apps like Lumosity, Elevate, Peak built empires on this claim. But Cambridge University tested 11,000. 430 people over six weeks. The result? Zero transfer to real-world intelligence. You get better at the game. Not better at your job. Not better at thinking. UCLA neuroscientist. Like practicing free throws and expecting to get better at chess. Then came the legal reckoning. In 2016, the Federal Trade Commission fined Lumosity specifically $2 million for deceptive advertising. Their own internal research couldn't back up their claims. The industry sold you a fantasy. If those games felt pointless, your brain was telling you the truth. It craves real challenges, not synthetic puzzles. Want actual results? Learn an instrument. New neural pathways. Learn a language. Stronger executive function. Debate a friend. Critical thinking. Real learning rewires your brain. Games waste your time. Myth 3. Brain cells don't regenerate. After 25, you're born with all the brain cells you'll ever have. After 25, they die and never come back. Wrong. Researchers discovered neurogenesis, new neuron creation in adult brains. 700 new neurons every day, even at 70, even at 80. Columbia University, 2018. Seven nine-year-olds produce neurons at the same rate as teenagers. The proof? London taxi drivers. Scanned before training. Scanned after memorizing 25,000 streets. Their hippocampus. Memory center. Physically swelled larger. Like a bicep from lifting weights. Use it. It grows. Neglect it. It shrinks. Every time you thought, I'm too old for this? Wrong. Your brain wasn't declining. It was building. Difficulty isn't decay. It's growth. Your brain at 50, 60, 70, not a declining machine. 
a living organ that responds to challenge. It is never too late. The question isn't whether your brain can change. It's whether you're giving it reasons to. Myth 4. Reading digital versus paper. Doesn't matter. Phones. PDFs. Screens. All information. Right? Words are words. Norway researchers found otherwise. University of Stavanger. Same story. One group reads on Kindle. One on paper. Paper readers scored 20-30% higher on comprehension. On memory. Why? Screens activate skimming mode. Your brain scans. Doesn't learn. FMRI proves physical books engage more regions. Spatial memory. Tactile processing. Deeper encoding. Worse? Blue light suppresses melatonin. Read before bed? Your brain can't consolidate memory during sleep. Like saving a file on a shutting computer. Watching this on your phone? You're fine. Video is passive. Reading is active. But studying? Learning deeply? Paper wins. Can't remember that article you scrolled? Not your fault. Digital hijacks attention into scan mode. You consumed data. Didn't learn. Deep learning. Books. Quick scanning. Screens. Different tools for different tasks. Myth 5. Your brain works better under pressure. I work best under deadlines. Pressure fuels me. Harvard tracked 5,000 adults. 20 years. Short-term stress? Can sharpen focus. Fight or flight for immediate threats. Chronic stress? Cortisol floods your brain. Cortisol is neurotoxic. It physically shrinks the hippocampus. Destroys memory. Learning capacity gone. UC Berkeley. Chronic stress shrinks the prefrontal cortex. Decision-making dies. Rational thinking dies. The Harvard result? High chronic stress equals cognitive decline, equivalent to 10 minus 12 years of aging. Stressed 4-0-year-old? Brain functions like a relaxed 5-2-year-old. Good news. Stop the stress. The brain recovers. Hippocampus regrows. Prefrontal cortex heals. Reversible damage if you act now. Foggy thinking? Slipping memory? Worse decisions under pressure? Not weakness. Cortisol poisoning. High performers don't thrive on stress. They manage it ruthlessly. Your brain needs safety. Recovery. Strategic challenges. Not constant pressure. Stress isn't a badge of honor. It's a poison. Stop taking the poison. And the healing begins immediately. What neuroscience proves? Your brain is a living organ that responds to how you treat it. Not static. Not declining. More capable than you've been told. The myths were the problem. Not you. Not your brain. Share this. More science-backed strategies next video.